Hello and welcome. In today's episode, I'm going to show you progress on this 720 square foot house. So the granite that you're seeing right there was $2,339.85. And that covered the kitchen and it also covered both of the bathrooms. And I'm going to show you those bathrooms here in a second. What I'm also going to bring back here is the software. I just want to show you how things can look. And here where you see the TV, that's where I decided to put the window. And reason being because that's where you come in into the house. So it's, it gives a little bit better curb appeal. But if you're building this house, you can definitely get rid of the TV there. You can put it on a stand in front of the window. But as you can see here, as I'm panning, that's how you pull into the house. So it, the house looks better with that window being there. Just curb appeal. And this is how everything is turning out. So tongue and groove, everything is set there. Um, the tongue and groove that you see on the side of cabinets that I talked about in the previous episode, that is from Lowe's. And then when it comes to the kitchen cabinets and bathroom cabinets, that was from Home Depot. So regular straight off the shelf, nothing fancy, just regular cabinets uh, off the shelf, so no special orders. And this is how things are turning out. So the... I still got to put the uh, cover that up right there. That's the entrance into the attic. The hinges will be replaced as I talked about because I want everything to match kind of like on that bifold that you see. And this is how I have this bedroom envisioned. So you can put a little TV there if you're sleeping for one person. You can even have a little computer desk right there. So it could technically be an office as well. So that's just what I usually do when I design these homes. I try to envision how the furniture is going to go in here and what people can do. And see here, when you're laying in bed, you're looking at the mountains there. So you have a fan. And keep in mind, this is 720 square feet. So this is not a big house, but I think it turned out actually pretty good when it comes to space-wise. And in the next episode, I'm pending to it, I'm going to show you um, the connection to the water and sewer. And I'm going to talk about those prices as well. And I still need landscaping done, as you can see. And that's also coming in the future episodes. So here's the other bathroom. Obviously, <laughs> something is missing in it. The toilet is not installed there. The plumbers need to come out and do it. I put the pole that's strictly from, once again, that was from Home Depot. You buy it by the foot, it's $1.67 a foot. Uh, tongue and groove on the sides of those cabinets that does not come with the cabinets. If you watch my previous episode, you know how you put that on there. And a little bit of glue and you just nail it in there. Uh, this is the main bedroom. Those windows are three feet by five feet. So they are egress window windows. Once again, this is how it could have been done if it was a cabin and where you can put the bed here between the two windows kind of to give you an idea and I still need to the covers for the receptacles and I still need to get a couple of them installed so they're not all in so that's that the mini split is in that was a big pain with that whole situation with that company maybe I'll talk about it in the next episodes if you guys really want to hear it but once again dollar sixty seven or whatever it was as a foot for that pole, for the shower curtain. The bathtub is all one piece. Hard to kind of to see and because it's darker in here. And this is how I have this bathroom envisioned. The left is the stackable washer dryer and the water heater will be to the right. And same thing, the toilet paper holder is installed. I try to match everything. So all these hinges on the doors and the door handles Everything's going to be matching the oil rubbed bronze look, kind of to match the fans and the little pull knobs and everything. So this is how we're looking so far. So 720 square feet, not much wasted space. Pretty much the only space is right there with the hallway that I just walked out of. And this is how we're looking. So this is how I envisioned everything and how I would have done it the TV being right there because technically the front of that house is where all the windows are but I positioned it this way because you have the mountain views over there and here that's how the kitchen looks with two pantries on both sides and technically you do have room to add another pantry in there so you could have three pantries or one bigger one on that side and then the smaller one on the other side 
and these pantries that I put in they're 18 inches so they're a foot and a half and this is how this basically turned out you can also erase this pantry and that's the flexibility that you have even though the floor plan is small you can kind of still tinker with it so see if you erase that pantry and you kept the two on the side you would have more counter space and then if you want you can add a cabinet there on the wall and just resize it to whatever size you want obviously that's a little bit too big and then you can shrink it to maybe 15 inches or if you want a little bit bigger one you can go up to the 18 inch one which that is so that's how your kitchen can look right there so a little bit more counter space so it just all depends but I think either way this way or the way that I originally have it works small house with a small kitchen this is another thing you can vault the bedroom to give you a little bit more room and then if you're curious I'm gonna show you here in a second that space you don't above the closet you don't have to frame it all the way up there what you can do is kind of what I did with the cabin build if you haven't seen those series take a look you see that you can frame it like that and then you got storage above the closet so you're not wasting space you're actually uh, utilizing that space right there and see this little bedroom would have that as well a little bit of a vault but that's gonna cost you more money because you have to you're going up on an angle and it's costing you more money this is what you can also add is a little porch with a little fireplace my software is old so it looks kind of dated but you can use your imagination how things can look and the roof is magically floating but and you have room there for a table and this is how it would look from the inside so you can actually see the fireplace from the inside so even though it's a small house of 720 square feet I think the floor plan actually works and for uh, someone who is retired maybe someone who is just a first home buyer or someone looking into retirement a couple maybe I think this the house is pretty darn good and the floor plan works and see that's how the floor plan looks it's 24 by 30 and that's the overall overall footprint of it and then when it comes to that porch that I just showed you that was 12 feet instead of the usual 8 so if you want a little bit more space you can add you know stretch it out a little bit and right now where I'm hovering over the mouse those walls are insulated so a little bit more privacy for that bathroom and the main uh, bedroom and here's the the overall uh, overall look I guess how things look in this small 720 square foot house so that's my baby she's coming along nice and it's almost done I still gotta show you a couple of things and a couple more prices as I usually do on this channel so the connection to the water and sewer for the city and I'll cover that up I'll cover that and I'll let you know how much that is also a little bit of simple landscaping I'm also going to do and here just for the OCD people so we put the window back how it was and with software just a piece of cake that's the standard one you just change it to 48 inches which is 4 feet you make it left sliding no lights in it and boom brand new window and then adjust it just to perfection